Right, we are going to get stuck straight in. I am going to go straight into a time lapse because this is going to be a bit of a beast, really. So I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
I thought I'd break the time lapse because this is going to be the end of the first session. I've had a lot to think about in this time. An awful lot to think about. Now we're obviously, this is the sort of map where you've got to think cleverly and also, yeah, I mean that, that interests me as well, River Rock Estates, but I think it's more of a sell point than anything with it having bales and that and animals. I would imagine it's the livestock dealer just through looking for that. 
the, all of this story type stuff that's lying around, I, I'm intrigued. I, I'm, we must grab a bucket and uh, have a look to see what it actually is. If it's nothing or whether it is straw or whether it's or whether you're allowed to grab it. It is some very interesting concepts breached in this. Obviously, you can't send the um, wheel loader, but you are supposed to use it. So you can't send it all over the map, but you could manually drive it. But then that becomes a bit of a problem. So I'm glad we have got our own telehandler that can only just, by the skin of its teeth, manage these things. Yeah, I'm wondering about location. I was uh, looking at the price of the actual place itself, and I thought, well, that's going to literally, all of the money that we've just earned from doing this escapade. Yeah, and there's something there, but I can't, I don't know what it means by dig. I would presume it means what we've actually done, but whether you need to dig deeper, I really don't know how deep you're supposed to dig. Um, I'm presuming it's that. Obviously, we found a few bits and bobs close by. There's, yeah, there's piles of things, like there's a pile of that there. There's the piles of, of um, stones, there's a pile of lime. I presume, obviously, I'm not being nasty, but it is obviously for you to use to grab your buckets and all your belt systems. Maybe a bucket, some, some are quite funny about it. it's got to be a bucket, so it might be that. But it will be interesting to actually grab a bucket and actually see about this. Yeah, I've not heard any beep beep beeping up this end, but yeah, it, this is a pretty much what we've earned, 147 pounds would cost us to actually buy this down here. I was thinking about a farmer, but then again, it's not perfect. Yeah, there's some space for sheds, but then it really is just as it is. And so I was thinking, well, do you really buy it? Or if we're supposed to grab the stones, then we'll be allowed to grab the stones. If we're allowed to grab the... Let's just unclip those. I know it will still disappear, but yeah, if we're allowed to... Um, grab the lime then we'll grab the lime uh, it'll be one of those things it, it, it either is or isn't built in so yeah that that's where i'm calling it for now though now there are some more of those obviously if we have a look at the value of the goods that we've got we've got an awful lot more metal to find about four times the amount that we've actually found so far so this this is going to be one of those that's i'm going to warn you from the beginning it's really immense I mean, you could always keep your farmyard. You could always keep... I mean, that piece of land is amazing, really. But the farmyard itself is sort of on this. Let's play. If you think about the location of that... I but no, I suppose there's fields two and three as well. It could always remain. Now, these interest me. I presume these are grass fields. Presume. If we switch that off... Ah, but it's not showing grass. But then again, yeah, different map makers do different things. This is all tree area, the bits with the, the... Yeah, there's a massive, massive forest, right? I mean, yeah, we're at the top of the map, really. It's strange, but I would presume on the other side of the wall is a massive grassland, I presume, and that we buy patches of that for 256,000 per one. But we've got no grass equipment, so at the minute... We'll stick to normal farming and we'll stick to grabbing the things. Now, we've got all the ones from the shop. We've got the ones from the loading yard for the train. We've got the one that we found outside the gate. And obviously the few that are in the actual loading yard. Ah, so no, the livestock are there. That must be a, is it a bale cell point, that one, that River Rock Estate. River Rock State. So no, is that, it shows sheep. So that's the, I presume then you, no, no, you can't buy it. So it really is just an interesting thing to look at. All right, so the, yeah, the animal dealer's there. Right near, yeah, from just above. So you can get all those there. I mean, that that's an interesting set of, um, yeah, 46, it's got a bit of, bit of forestry and a bit of, yeah, I'm thinking, obviously, seriously, where do we set up? And the shop is there. Garage with vehicle workshop. I mean, that's 859,000, but it comes with a massive set of fields. And it's very good. Yeah, I mean, again, this seems to be the sort of map where it's sort of built in and presumes, in a way, that you are going to... 
shift around, really. So if that is the case, how much would our yard be? 32,000. It's hardly worth selling. It's not a bad place to... And I mean, we, the other thing is, if we can have a grass field, then it, we're not far away. If we had 66, 69, 70, or any of these, I would presume we're going to go into grass eventually. And then there's 65 there, which could be a bit of a yard for that. We could shift around, or we might just keep spots, because we're always going to need, if we're going to have, I am going to buy two and three, I already sort of hinted at that, that they, because they're all such good soil. Yeah, they really are. I mean, yeah, there's a bit of silty clay, but it's still 111% bonus and 118% bonus, and that is pure loam. So that one we're not going to relinquish no matter what. Yeah, so our farmyard is useful to have implements around for that. So I don't, and it's, yeah, 32,000, it's just not worth selling. So that that's not just a biogas plant. It is. Yeah, and that is, you can buy it for, and now again, I don't know if that's the land. We're gonna, we're, no, we'll do that another session. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It is a fantastic map. It really is very unique. It really is. And yeah, I, I think this is one where we're going to be buying bits of farmyard all over the map, really, um, because it lends itself to that. Uh, and it looks really like you could probably eventually, this is like crone, um, crone territory really so looking for a decent set of mowers or a multiple sets of mowers and maybe buying the biogas plant is there anything down by the biogas plant itself either are two fields a straight smack above it that is if we don't go with a, another i personally think plot 65 would make a perfect grass yard if it's not got stuff on it how much is that Fifty thousand. So if that would be the the yard for the grass equipment, because it it's weird. It obviously it looks really close, but I don't know whether you can go through that building to get sixty six and sixty nine. If it wasn't, then our original yard is good enough. If not, sixty five would be the perfect place for the biogas plant, a, a mini one that we get built. So that's what I'm thinking. But yeah, this is intriguing me. I really would like to see if it is anything or if it's just rubbish or what what is it because it to me it looks like straw or wheat so to be honest it looks more like wheat but i can't imagine that being the case but any but even if it was straw it's still going to be very useful to have if you're allowed to do that and that's it at the minute i've got more questions than answers really but it would